What's up you guys, it's your boy Orlando, a symbion back at you with another video. I have an interesting topic today. Now, before we get started, I wanna ask you one simple question. Do you believe in portals, dimensions, dark matter, alternate realities, different things like that? So I wanna get into that a little bit today. I was I stumbled across a video, I have reason to believe that it's real. Um, it's a guy on YouTube uh, by the name of Funky Flathead, I believe. Yeah, Funky Flathead. So anyway, so um, this clip is very interesting. I want you to watch it. It's about three minutes and some seconds long, but um, it shows two different tones that tear a hole into our dimension. It opens up a portal. Now, the reason why I find this interesting is because like, as you can see, I actually do videography myself. You know, a lot of times the stuff that I watch, I take it with a grain of salt. I'm like, ah, uh, but this one can't be, uh, you know, it can't be replicated with any type of after effects or anything. You'll see some out there trying to, but it just doesn't look the same. Um, the lighting um, from the camera itself, the way he moves, it, it gives me reason to believe that it was an actual event that took place in his room. Now, I do believe that there are certain energetic portals around the world that have stronger frequencies according to placement, you know, uh, according to the sun, according to what's going on in the environment. I do believe in that. So I want you guys to check out this video and we're going to talk about it. it. It's crazy if you ask me, but let's get into it. Tone generator set to 528, which is developed by Thomas P. Sinelski. Uh, thank you, Thomas. I noticed here it uh, can be used for uh, science experiments. I would say so. Um, go ahead and play that. So, here 528 tone. There, I'm going to stop it before anything happens. Up here, I also have another tone generator set to 525, and I'm about to show you what will happen with that. Um, things happen much quicker when you're using pure tones rather than the other stuff I was using on YouTube, which had like sounds mixed in with it. Um, there we go, 528. And already you can see a much more stable fracture. Okay, I have to do this quick because this stuff does not last. 525, you can see there's a whole range of tones here, but 525, you're gonna hear, you probably hear the fluctuation there. There we go. don't know where that is, I do, is in Sedona, and it is a well-known uh, vortex um, phenomenon. Uh, there's several of them there, and you are witnessing a uh, a gate, portal, wormhole, stargate, whatever you want to call it, from this bedroom to another state. Using a mixture of two solid tones. Okay, so now you guys saw the video for yourself. Um, if you really look at the lighting, if you look at a lot of, uh, you know, some of his emotions, uh, the way he was speaking, the way he was acting, you could tell that this was something that he he discovered or something that, you know, he kind of fell into or fell upon, and so he was just willing to share it. 
you know, his behavior patterns. Um, if you actually look at the video, you know, you can kind of tell that the way the lighting is set up in his room, the way um, he maneuvers the camera, you can see even even when he shifts the camera and you can see how it kind of, you know, goes into like a depth effect, you know, the camera kind of blurs out and then comes back in. So, um, you know, there's some people out there trying to replicate it, but they can't. They can't. And the reason why is because you have to understand that the way portals work, the way different dimensional terrors work, you have to be in a specific area. So you just can't set your your speaker up or set your phone up and then plug it in and just expect it to work. It, it just doesn't work that way, guys. Um, now, let's talk into the real deep understanding. Now, I did a video a while back, right, and people always ask me about religious views and religious dogma and different things like that. What I believe we're dealing with as a species is energy, dimensional portals, and, you know, interdimensional traveling that, that happens a lot. Now, we don't know about it because, you know, we aren't learned in that particular way, right? Especially in the Western world. Um, you know, we really believe a lot in more religion, you know, and different things and all this kind of stuff, heaven and hell. But what you have to understand is what you're dealing with is interdimensional travel. You know, there's interdimensional beings, beings that you can only uh, experience in a certain state of consciousness. I don't believe that you'll be able to experience these beings uh, here on the earth in a physical, physical realm, but only in a different state of consciousness um, because they're interdimensional. Now, let's talk about these dimensions. Now, you do understand that there is dark matter, and from dark matter, it's basically the thing, uh, I guess, that kind of holds holds our universe together, like the glue, if you will. So, um, you know, comment down below. Make sure you guys subscribe. Make sure you guys like this video, because I want to definitely talk more about this. I'm going to put it on my Facebook page, which is a Sin Beyond. I'm also going to have it on my YouTube. This is how you're watching me, obviously. But um, you guys can check it out on both um uh, both uh, social media platforms that way so anyways you guys man tell me what you think man um chime in below let's talk more about it but just understand the best way that i can really explain this is explain the dream world right so in the dream state you have the ability to dream and go and create an alternate world right and you wake up it feels real you know the only thing you can't feel is the physical damage that you take because you're not physically there but somewhere deep within your subconscious mind you created that you know something you saw something you created on your own you know there's there's the understanding that you know consciousness is real obviously uh, energy is real so a lot of times we don't want to get into these types of conversations you know um, are we beginning to wake up is consciousness beginning to really shift into our dimension right so um, what is it all about I'm going to get more into this in another video, you guys. Peace. Grand love to you. Thank you so much for watching. Y'all take care.